Hello student, this is lecture 44 based on 5th unit for the subject VLSI design and in this lecture we are going to about this discuss about this fault types, uh, fault models. Okay? So, in previous lecture we had discussion on fault types. Now, what are these, these fault models are available? Okay, so, we will discuss about these fault models. Okay. So, we have seen this in this previous lecture, we were discussing about this circuit. Okay. So, this stuck on and stuck off is available in the circuit and this there is a stuck at 1 is available. Okay. So, S A 1 is nothing else stuck at 1 means this gate, this input okay, or you can say the gate of this P MOS is always stuck at 1 because there is a connection between this VDD to this gate. Okay. So, VDD is nothing else, it is always considered 1. Okay. So, stuck on means if I talk about this stuck on means when you are going to design, okay, you can see over here, okay, stuck on and stuck off. Okay. So, you can see over here we were discussing about this stuck off okay okay you can stuck open stuck on so whenever we are talking about stuck open means this is off okay how this is off means obviously you know all of you know this is source this is drain and these are the highly concentrated area so this is here will be you can see p substrate over here okay so, what is happen if you are designing this gate and this gate is not connected with this drain and source. So, it is always open means there is no connection between this drain and source with this gate okay? because we are applying voltage over here gate control voltage over here and there is a no connection between this gate with the drain and source. So, it look like this. Okay, there is no connection between here. So, it is always on or you can say it is always off or it is always open and if I talk about the functionality of this NMOS, it is always off because there whatever is you are giving here, it gate, okay, this is not connected with the drain and source. So, there will be no channel formation. Okay. So, this is, this is called stuck open and this functionality of this NMOS is off. Now, if I talk about the stuck on okay, and uh, in other words you called called short fault. So, what is happening over here? The, this connection is proper, but there is always a connection is available between these two. or in other words you can say this drain and source is directly connected. So, you can see over here there is a connection is always available and you know this is the proper way of this NMOS, but here is connection is always present over here. So, this is called stuck on fault or short fault. Okay. So, the single stuck at fault models are used frequently although the DOT can have defects that do not map to a single stuck at fault. Some of the reasons and these are the reason complexity of test generation is greatly reduced. Single stuck at fault is independent of technology design style. Single stuck at test cover large percentage of multiple stuck at faults single stuck at test cover a large percentage of unmolded physical defects. Okay. So, we use a stuck at fault models for finding these problems in the case of especially this stuck open and stuck on. Okay. In other words, we use in other method, okay. we use this delay faults also which causing timing failure at target speed can be due to several factors. Okay. So, we use this delay default models for finding out the this timing issues. 
<coughs> and these are improper estimation on chip interconnect delay and other timing consideration excessive variation in the fabrication process which causes significant variation in circuit delay and clock skew okay so clock skew you know because uh, we had discussion on this clock skew in the starting of the lecture okay open end metal lines connecting parallel transistor which can make the effective transistor size much smaller aging effects such as hot carrier induced delay increase okay so for this we have this delay fault models okay <coughs> the task of detecting delay faults is even more suitable uh, subtle than detecting functional faults in the steady state okay the functional test is usually done as speed slower than the target speed due to the limitation of the test okay so this functional speed uh, for, for testing is lower than this target speed <coughs> the fault matrix uh, fault model mentioned above the, are used in fault simulation that is test generation construction of faults uh, dictionaries or circuit analysis in the presence of the faults okay so these are these are models are available with, with through we can detect uh, whether it is related with timing or whether it is related with your uh, physical defects okay so these are the available okay so uh, when you will go through designing this circuit with the help of this vsdl and after that you have to when you uh, design your layout on fpga okay so we use these models for finding these problems okay so these are the some models available okay so therefore finding out is stuck open is stuck on this uh, stuck at 1 is stuck at 0 okay is there is there any bridging okay so these are the math uh, models are available okay computational uh, models are available for finding these problems okay because manually it is not possible okay for human being uh, it is not possible to finding out these defect because when we do the fabrication we design the transistor at the size of the 25 nanometer okay 18 nanometer so as a human it is not possible but we can design our test with the help of these computational models which are available okay so this is all about this lecture thank you students